Okay. It is the Holy Ghost and fire, and it's keeping me alive, keeping me alive, keeping me alive. It is the Holy Ghost and fire, and it's keeping oh. me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lord. How great is His word. How great is His word. He is the greatest one that ever was heard. I was born in Karambara, and from there, I always grew up going from different places, like different schools. My first school was in Sunshine, and then from there, I, um, as I was growing up, I went to another school and then another school from there, and it was just like continuously, because my father was a minister, so we had to travel a lot. And he used to be very strict, my father, very, oh, how can I put it, demand, like, you know, a very high-strung type of man, sort of, too. And when we were disciplined, sometimes it was with the strap or, you know, with a bare hand or, or sometimes we used to take off to mum, you know, like mum help, you know, and that, you know, but, I mean, we know we'd done wrong and that, you know, and we, we need discipline, but sometimes it was a bit hard, hard. Dad was the stern one. He was, he was always the one that, you know, went out and made the money and everything like that. And yeah. the dad, dad was yeah. very stern, but mum, she was always the nurturing one. You know, she always kept us in line if we needed a belt and she'd give us one. Mm, and I mean, she'd give us one, especially she the could. belt that, that she gave you one time. I yeah, remember that, but that was, that was that was his own fault. Yeah. You know, from, from what a young, excuse yeah. the expression, mongrel that he was. <laughs> and I mean, yeah. he was, he was, he, yeah. was a, he was an absolute mongrel when, you know, yeah. as a kid. Yeah, when dad, when dad gave you belting, he gave you belting. Yeah. You know, look, okay, you know, in those days, I, I've got to say, you know, it wasn't right. You know, when he when he belted us, he used to belt us around the head. You know, that's one thing I never agreed with. But, you know, that, I reckon in, in those days that was just the way it was. He was a man where he, he was very firm on things. You know, so love wasn't really, I mean, it was there, but it wasn't really in his vocabulary. I had a bit of, you know, like problems with, you know, growing up in life, trying to find my own way in life. Um, <clears throat> and when I did, I more or less, well, I started stealing and that, and from there it was like, Stealing lawnmowers, whipper snippers, going into sheds, as many as I can do nearly in a day sometimes, you know. The whole the whole neighbourhood used to know him. You know, when he was always stealing lawnmowers. Lawnmowers, whipper snippers. I was always it was funny, I was always when I'd open a shed, the first thing I'd look at was a lawnmower or a whipper snipper it's just to see. I wouldn't care about other other power tools or that, but like if there was no with a snipper or lawnmower in there, I'd go for the power tools, you know, or I'd go for just something else that might get me some money, you know, just to get, to get me some marijuana or whatever. Came home one time, found my shed broken into, and then the lawnmower and the whipper snipper was gone, and then the old lawnmower was still there, it was in the backyard, and I, I knew straight away. Uh, you know, you, yeah, you, you, you got that inkling yeah, it's you, Paul, you know, I know. And then I confronted him and he goes, yeah, it was me. No, well, you see, they called me the lawnmower bandit back then. Um, that was in the news clip in 93. He went to uh, Sunshine Police Station quite a few times. They told him, you know, keep on going, you're going to go to jail. But, you know, what I mean, don't stop, keep on going, yeah. When I went into prison, which I'd done for three months, at that time, when I was in prison, my father was dying. He had Parkinson and that. 
and um, and I was looking after him at that time too, but I couldn't look after him no more. And after he passed on and that, um, that was quite hard for me. I prayed. I prayed so hard for, for what I've got now, this life, my family. When I got out and when I found Donna, my wife, <laughs> and all to, you know, to be at that time, I, I just knew everything would work out, you know. I like, it was like a whole new world when I stepped out from prison and that, you know. Hi, this is my friend um, Shane. He's been my friend for a long time. And um, I guess he knows a few things about me but not everything, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, he, he's a very, very good mate of mine, you know, this one here. Met Paul back in 2006. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul's a very friendly person. Uh, very helpful, will drop, will drop anything to help someone. Uh, but we we go places and that, don't we? You know, we're yeah. still together. Go and, go know. to place, go drive drive down to Melton. Yeah, or and or go to Bunnings. Sometimes I'll take you. You know, yeah, when you need things. Because I need to certain things done. See ya. Okay. See ya. See ya. See ya. Love it. Sir. Okay, you have to do one of those. Oops. Oh. What's that? Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 roasting hot today. We're out where we're due for a storm. It's coming over, but it's hot today, isn't it? Oh, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, but soon I'll be jumping in the pool. <laughs> That's for sure. We don't have everything in life, you know. We don't live like some rich people that do. But what we've got, I'm happy with. You know, we've got our microwave, we've got our stove, we've got things to cook on, we've got, you know, that's all you sometimes need in life, just and just to be happy and have a good family and, and that appreciates you too, you know, because from my from my kids I always get dad I love you, you know, and I reckon I've got a good life and I'm happy with it. When the kids were smaller, he was always there changing nappies and more so than a lot of the dads were. Of friends and that, yeah. So I'd say and he's always been there to help them, and so he's, I'd say he's a pretty good dad. I got this um, last year off um, off Shane and your wife and Donna, yeah, for Christmas. For Christmas, yes, last year. Yes. Yeah, so they asked what I wanted, and I said a barbecue, and um, they both chipped in for me and got me a barbecue. Great cook, <laughs> especially especially <laughs> the um, trifle, yeah. He uh, loves my yeah, trifles. Wine, your wine trifles, so, yeah. Yes, he loves my trifles. Third yeah. best. Third, third best. best. No, second best. <laughs> third best. Second best. After my mum. After Nana yeah, yeah. and my mum. <laughs> oh, good on you. Okay, I remember that. I go to the hospital with my dad. He takes me to see the hospital. And... Then, um, he takes me everywhere. I don't mind driving. No, I kind of like driving, yeah. Just so you can get out and take the kids out and that. And, yeah, get out on the road and do all and just have a good time. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lord. Look at that beach. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lord. Oh, wow. Well, I can't get over how choppy it is today. If, if, I, had to, if I ever lost this, I wouldn't know what to do, really. You want to come and hold it, Brittany? There you go. Just put it down there and hopefully, you know, something will bite. Hey. Yeah. With um with what I've got now, I 
I couldn't go past it. I feel sometimes I can change things. Like, you know, I can try to be a better parent than maybe my father and mother was. You bring them into the world, you know, geez, you've got to look after them. They don't know nothing when they come into the world. You know, so no matter how rich or how poor you are, you know, you just try to do the best you can. Listen, little sheep, poor little black sheep, someone is calling for you. The master's black dog found that little black sheep in the meadow so far away. He cried and he cried and he cried and he cried because he, he could not find his way to back home. Good singing, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah.